Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a thermos with a cup for 3D printing using Plow Plastic in SelfCAD. To begin with, I will create a nut using Nut Generator. We have following settings here, radius of the screw thread, pitch is the thread height, segment sets thread smoothness, and number of rotations. Tip scale is the size of the screw thread endpoints. Tip segment is the smoothness of the endpoints. And we also have thread scale and outside edges number. Next, we are going to use Find Polygons tool. Turn on loop selection to select all polygons in a circle and using scale tool, set the diameter of the outer walls. I will set X and Z to 80. Now we will need a screw. Open Screw Generator and use the same settings as for the nut. Okay, this is done. Now click on a cylinder and again use the same radius and height. Click Scale and adjust the cylinder size according to the screw cylinder. In my case, the diameter will be around 59. Taking into consideration that I'm using Pla plastic for printing and shape will be exposed to temperature 100 degrees Celsius, it is important to make thick walls. So I will set a value of 48, which will make my walls thickness around 5.5 millimeters. Then, using Boolean Difference, I will subtract the cylinder from my screw. And now, I am ready to create the cup for my thermos. Add a cylinder. Set height and increase number of vertical segments. After this, scale the cylinder and rotate it. Then I will scale it down a little and remove the top polygon. I will use Resolution Tool to prepare my object for further transformation and add Volume 8. Now we need to adjust size according to the screw, position the screw, and shape our cup using following tools. Resolution, Find Polygon, Scale, and Move. Then, using Boolean Union, connect screw to the cup. Okay, the cup is ready, and I am now going to create the thermos itself. Again, I will take a cylinder and transform it similar to the cup.
Use cup as a reference to make sure the two fit at the end. Now, using tools Find Polygons, Scale, and Twist, I will shape the thermos. Scale down the cup a little using cube selection tool. Turn off exact selection option in order not to cut polygons. I will create a handle for my cup using spline drawing tool. We have two sliders here, spline thickness and number of edges. There is also a lock axis setting and select a polygon. Using lock axis, you can draw on selected axis, which can give you a very nice flexibility. Select polygon lets you select a polygon from any shape in the scene and use it as a base for your spline. Now let's get started with that handle. Set thickness and number of edges and draw the handle. Set thickness and number of edges and draw the handle. 
Now, using tools Move, Scale, Rotate, and Taper, position the handle and reshape it if needed. After I positioned my objects, I can connect them using Boolean Union or just group them. And in this case, grouping will be enough, so I can simply open Edit Menu and select Group or use Hotkey Combination Control plus G. For this model, minimal wall thickness has to be 1.6 millimeters because we are printing using PLA plastic and if walls will be thinner, you won't be able to put hot beverages in the cup. Everything is ready for 3D printing now. Check the link below the video to see instructions for 3D printing. Thanks for watching.